Today, we are going to do a full restoration video on this 1970 Dodge D100 from start to finish. If you're new to the channel or you didn't start from the original videos when you started this restoration, this started as a three quarter ton truck long bed. As you can tell now, half ton short bed, got the original 318, factory AC, power steering, power brake truck. You want to see clips that are more in depth. We do have a full build series on the channel. We got like 19 videos. So this is going to be fast and quick and not explaining everything like the other videos. So if you want to learn more, such as putting a 1970 Mustang tank in one of your sweat lines, check the original video out versus this one. <laughs> Welcome back to the YouTube channel. From the outside, this truck started off looking pretty good and it didn't seem like it had too bad of a rust issue. But as we dug into it, as you can see here, the truck had the normal rust of a swept line. The cow was gone, the floorboards were gone, and everything had to be basically replaced and made from scratch. My dad did end up buying the cheaper floor pans and the rockers. We started to cut everything out to put those in. Everything went pretty smooth and turned out good. But as you can see right here, all this stuff had to be made from scratch. After getting the floorboards in, we continued to fix all the rust. And as you can see here, we started doing the bottom side of the cab, whatever you want to call that area and everything was made by hand and basically had nothing to go off of and had to do it all from pictures and what we've seen online. It was a lot of fabrication and a lot of work and time. We're just trying to get this cab off this frame so we can put it on the new nice frame but eh, it's coming along we're gonna be interesting it looks crazy <laughs> Oh yeah, that's it. Waited. It's back in the light, it looks crazy. So at first the restoration we're going to do it as a long bed but this short bed came up and this frame was way more solid than the original one so we ended up 
converting everything over to being a half ton. It's gonna look much better on there. There's that pretty 318. Super dusty, been doing a lot of cutting in here. I believe it's a 727 trans. Roll all the way up underneath there. Now we'll just let it down slowly. Nice. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get quite a bit higher if you wanna get over the motor. No, we're good. <laughs> I'll try to push you forward slowly. We'll see you back here. I don't know. Don't feel safe. Ooh. Oh, please don't fall off the jacks. Push! I don't know. We need to do that front one just that high. It's real close to clearing. Gosh, that two by four screaming. And it's up on here. Here is the short bed that we used for this build. My dad ended up finding a roller short bed truck that he bought for $400, which is an absolute steal if you know anything about these swept lines. This truck started with seven leaf springs, but we removed three of them to get the right height right with lowering shackles in the rear. Shuts really good. Socks on a rooster. For the rockers, you want to do the same hole punching as we are doing here. If you just weld on the outside of the rockers, you are asking for the metal to stress crack in the future, which you do not want. So I highly recommend doing this if you want the best result. I did, it sounded good. Is that where it's going? Oh, that makes sense why you're putting that there now, right? I thought you were putting it up inside here. Oh, hell no. Where the gas cap was in the center. Makes sense now. It's gonna be a ceremony back here. I mean, it's gonna be pretty heavy when you fill it up. What, is it just welded in the corners right now? I got it welded on the bottom, too. I think it'll hold. 
Nice. So somebody can easily steal it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's well, today here at Real Steel Fabrication, we're going to be doing a little bit of rust repair to this old fender for this 1970 Dodge budget build that we were doing. As you can see, pretty damn rusty. So I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but we're going to get started on this and show you the progress later. Smells like progress in here. Everything's looking pretty. Oh yeah. Whew. Got my high tech respirator on. Shiny. What do y'all think about the color? I think that color's feminine. I think it's very masculine. Don't get too close to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, first one's on there. Time to get the second one. Then we'll put the core support on last. Looking pretty. Starting to look like a truck. So what's next after the hood? All the inside. Seam seal everything. Undercoat. Color to match it. Paint on the inside. Dash. Doors. You gonna put carbon in someday? And put it all back together. Yeah. So what are you gonna weld up behind there? Well, I'm just gonna make me a brace. It kinda comes from here up to here. And fill it in. Should've done it when the cab was off. That one right there. That's the inner of the rocker panels. It turned out all right. Seems to know some beige. Guy sold the wrong stuff to us. But it'll be all right. It'll be all undercoated black. All right, I got too excited. Still got to take the dash pad out. Leaving the windshield in there and going to spray, or not spray paint, but paint the dash inside the truck because this windshield's junk so that's going to be replaced anyway so we're not worried about paint getting on that that stuff just makes it look so much better what do you think well you can't see from down there come on get up there and take a look what do you think Go 
paint particles floating around, but that looks pretty good. Steering column sat in black, pretty close to the color of the wheels. Of it. Recommend? Well, there it is. Got the steps all done and the rockers. What do you guys think about doing in that stuff? I think it'll look right. Seal wool works wonders. I'm sure there's a warm diagram. Well, the dash is basically all together. Just got that on there to see what it looked like. You need the adapter still to make it fit right. It turned out pretty good. Paint inside the cab looks good. These turned out really good. Yeah, I mean, that used to be all just rust and that was just made from scratch there. Chop it up. Bondo. <laughs> wow. That is amazing what people do. This bed was done by some professionals. All right, so didn't want to bore you too much by cutting it all out, but that's the first test fit there. For anyone that wants to comment and say, why are you cutting those beds up? This is why, these are super rough. That was just bonded up. That, as you can see, these are just flat, so it doesn't have any of the holes or anything you need. And this one's even rougher here. And that's why we cut them off. Are you gonna glue them on or what are you gonna do? What kind of glue is it? So the back taillight housings is going to get this panel bonding adhesive from 3M. Keep it clean for the next day. All right, guys, so the taillight pieces are on. I already fixed the rust to them, put metal to metal everywhere that it needs it.
So if you've seen before, this was all rust here. Got that all filled and getting miscellaneous little rust holes. That'll look a lot better when I able to clean it up, but that's what we're doing right now. This is OSHA approved. This bed is not perfect by any means, but it is good for who it's for. Anyways, guys, so this thing now is ready to be prepped up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start sanding this down and basically edge everything out, get that ready for paint. So basically it'll be the same as what we've gotten here, how we've edged out the doors and everything. We're going to do the same thing to this bed and we're also going to get this all prepped up and ready to put the bed coating in here. The bed coating is the same stuff that we use on the bottom of the rocker panels that has that texture. And so it'll be just like that there where it has a little bit of texture and you actually mix that with your paint color. So we'll show you guys how to do that. Use an 80 grit. All right guys, I don't wanna bore you too much with the sanding process because if you've seen the other videos, we've done a lot of sanding to this truck. Anyways, we started off with the 80 grit. We ended up going to 160, then finishing it off with 320. And then we ended up laying some paint to this truck, but we spent probably two weeks plus sanding on this thing, several hours a night, and it was a lot a lot a lot of work so for the next builds if any of the subscribers want to come help come on with it all right so we're about to put the bed on here we ended up the gas filler upper is going to be inside the bed so we've got a hole cut here so you can fill it up but we're gonna carry it over there all 700 pounds probably 500 but it's heavy with two people got the bed back on it little preview of what the gas filler upper is gonna be like once we got to the point that we were ready to just start doing body work we went around the truck finding all the high and low spots as you can see here and marking them with a sharpie highly suggest you to do that because you don't want to come back a second time after sanding to find your highs and lows once again after you've already went across them so do that but anyways guys like i said we sanded and sanded and sanded <laughs> time you'll see this truck looking like this. pretty good for the most part there is some spots here you can see some sand marks just where it's got a little deeper into the body 
But overall, she looks really good. The color looks good. Paint way down. Nice. We're going to throw on the wheels here real quick to see what it looks like. Well, there's kind of what she's going to look like. The wheels look really good with the paint color, I think. I need to cut that pole out so it, you can actually see the entire truck. You guys not have seen this, but I did do some bed coating inside the bed here. Having done the actual floor. For how rough these fender wells were, they're looking pretty dang good. As I know you guys have not seen the truck since it's looked this complete. Today we are going to put a custom exhaust on this old swept line. If you guys have seen the last video of us doing a full custom exhaust on this truck, you know it has some kinks that need to be worked out, such as putting exhaust manifold gaskets on it. Anyways, that stuff's coming in the mail. I'm going to pull this truck outside. We're going to get some real good footage of it and show you this true beauty of this truck and wrap this whole restoration series up. I want to thank you guys for the support, for subscribing, commenting, liking the videos, and just tagging along for the first YouTube build that we've done on this channel. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up this video series of the 1970 Dodge D100 short box. But anyways guys, make sure to subscribe so you can follow this even cooler build, the 1969 Crew Cab. We got a lot in store for this truck and a bunch of other shenanigans that might come up car wise. So make sure to hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. Anyways, thanks you for the support. Hope you guys enjoyed this build and until next time. <laughs>